good afternoon uh, today i will be telling you about tidal diamonds so i guess all of you navigators have seen this box in your charts the box refers to tidal diamonds that will be marked somewhere on the chart and that position is already given so we are having two tidal diamonds alpha and bravo their position is this and how to calculate the tidal stream this box is basically a much easier way of calculating tidal stream so the tidal stream is the flow of the water and it depends on the high water at a place so this box is simple it is given giving the hours before high water and after high water this is the high water time then direction of flow rate at spring tide and rate at neap tide so you should know when the neap tide is and when the spring tide is and this box is transferred here so total there is 13 times the direction it is given and the flow the speed this is for spring and this is for the neap now how to find it out remember this tidal streams are referred to Pelabuhan Kalang that is Port Kalang and the points Alpha and Bravo will show you on the charts like this so the Alpha point is given here Alpha Diamond this is the Port Kalang approach from Pulau Angsa now same way Bravo approach Bravo diamond is somewhere here this is the Bravo and it is for the southern approach of Putkalang as you can see this is how you will be able to find the tidal streams at this point you will get the tidal streams at this point and the <coughs> rate of flow for that you will have to find out the high water of Port Kalang using the Admiralty Tide Tables suppose this is the month of November 2021 so the tide will be and before that I have to tell you something the spring tide this will be a spring tide and uh, that means the black one that is no moon and the white one that is a full moon so all these are spring tides you can see it's written there and a neap tide will be at almost seven days after or before this that means the waxing or waning phase of the moon so this is the waxing phase you can see waxing and waning phase of the moon I will be having this so the tide on this day this high tides are basically neap tides and the tides on these days are basically spring tides now on the tidal diamond you should notice two things the rate of tide during the spring tide and during the neap tide that is they are giving you the direction direction is going to be constant the time is going to be constant but this rate this depends on whether it's a neap tide or a spring tide so what happens if it is neither the neap or the spring that means you have to calculate it suppose I'm going to show you tide of December 04 the tide is 0532 is 5 decimal 5 1212 is 0 decimal 6 1808 is 5 decimal 1 this is a spring tide and this will be a spring high tide spring high tide 
so in the spring high tide this flow and suppose you are in this diamond you are in this diamond at say 0430 that means you are one hour before high tide so that means you are one hour before high tide high tide is at 0532 and you have reached this point at 0430 that is one hour before the high tide you are at this point at this point that means it's very easy the calculation the high water is at high water is 1050530 you are at 0430 that is you are one hour before high tide so and since it is a spring tide you will be having the direction of flow is 1 to 1 and the speed of the tidal stream is 1 decimal 3 knots so tide will be flowing in a 1 1 to 1 degree direction and speed will be 1 decimal 3 knots this this you can take it only if this value is for a spring tide now suppose it's for a neap tide that is 14 days after no sorry 7 days after it will be a neap tide again the value can be used suppose you are going in a date around 3 days after the spring at that time how you should calculate it is this spring and neap divide it by 7 so that that will be the average speed i'll show you an example so uh, in the tidal stream diamond calculation if the neap tide or the spring spring you get the values so whenever you want to find the speed for any day that is in between you should see whether that whether the tide is going down or coming up see from the spring it is going down then from neap it is going back to spring so your flow rate you should know it is going from the highest rate to the spring high water rate spring high water rate to the neap high water rate so take the difference that is ar around 7 days and the difference in this is around 0.947 days 0.947 days so nearly every day it is 0.1 0.1 so every day the tide is going down change this value Uh, minus it by 0.1 so the the day after the high water spring the rate will be 0.8 the next day it will be 0.7 likewise on the day of neap tide it will be 0.3 again after high water neap you will be going back 0.4 0.5 likewise to 0.9 so this is how you will be taking the values for that you will have to find out when the spring what uh, spring high water spring is when your high water neap is and when your high water spring is so you will get a general idea of what time the tide is going to be since it is going down the spring is going to neap so the flow rate will be going down and at neap you will be having the lowest uh, speed then again it will be going up if you if you have an idea of how to do this then the day you are going to calculate take the day and at this point whenever at this or near this point if your ship is just find the time difference and calculate it this is how a tidal stream is calculated using a tidal stream diamond i hope you understood thank you